everyone, Deborah with Pinching Pesos, and I have a how-to video for you today. Uh, this is going to be a tutorial on how to get your scan and label to print labels in your Amazon Seller Central. So, the first thing you're going to notice, like, if you've been trying to print labels in Seller Central, um, ever since Java 42 came along, um, it hasn't been playing nicely with Chrome. And I'm a Chrome user, so I need to find workarounds. And this is how you're going to be able to print your labels without having to get a subscription with like list label, uh, list label ship or whatever it is. Um, I don't see the point in paying for a subscription if I can use something that's already provided to me for free. So when you go into your scan and label and you try to print a label, uh, if you don't haven't already followed these you know, instructions, then basically you're going to get sent over to the Oracle screen as soon as you try to print a label. And it's going to tell you that you need to update. So right now the actual update is at 51. So once you update your update your Java, when you get finished updating, it's going to bring up another screen that's going to say, well, we detected that you're using Chrome and you need to follow these instructions uh, for your thing. Now on here when you click on the more information it tells you about enabling your NP API in your browser. And if you click on that it gives you all of the instructions on what to do. You need to copy this, the Chrome uh, colon forward slash forward slash flags forward slash pound enable NP API. You have to enable those to be able to print your labels. So you go here, put it up there, and it brings up a page that looks like this. The very first thing on there is going to be your NP APIs. Mine says disable because I've already enabled it, but what you're going to do is going to look like this. You're going to click the enable button and it's going to enable the NP API. After you do that, um, you're going to go into your programs and you're going to go to your Java and you're going to go to configure Java. From there you're going to click on settings in the temporary internet files tab. You're going to click settings. And from there you're going to click delete files. Now here you're going to want to check all three of the boxes. Click OK and it's going to delete all of the files that you have in existence for uh, Java. You notice the last one here is installed application and applets. Okay, now what that's going to do is when you go back in and you go to print your label, it'll bring up all of the security warnings. So you'll have two security warnings. One of them might come up as a pop-up if you have your pop-ups blocked, you're going to need to go over, it's normally like right here, it'll tell you like that there was a pop-up, and you're going to need to go there and you're going to say yes, you know, that you can run the application. And I think there's another one that's a security pop-up uh, that you're familiar with seeing from back when eBay used to use Java for their labels. It would pop up a, with a security warning for Pitney Bowes. It should pop up a security warning as well. Um, for you to just tell, you know, allow it to, uh, to work. And ta-da, that's it. You should be able to print labels. Um, if you aren't familiar with your printer settings, just in case you've never done it before, or this is your first time, um, you're going to want to see this is one of the security warnings that will pop up for Java. And I'm going to tell it don't show me that again and allow. Uh, these are the settings that I have for my labels, uh, 57 and 32. And that should print you out perfectly good FBA barcode labels. So anyway, I hope this was really helpful for you. Uh, get you through the hurdles of trying to print these labels out. Um, might as well be able to use something that's free and already provided. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave a comment below. Um, and that's it. Have fun printing labels. Bye.